Alright everyone and welcome to the bonus video for Let's Play Kadelka. Today I have a special guest, a longtime friend of mine, her name is Hetty. Um, and she's going to be doing the vocals for the new letter that you guys saw me pick up the last episode. So I will let her take it away from here. My dearest daughter Charlotte, as I sit in the silence struggling to write this letter to you in English, I sense the arrival of winter is near at Arden Castle. I feel it makes me a bad mother since I am una unable to make you happy. I cannot lament enough how my selfish affair has entangled so many people, including you, my dear, who were sent to Wales to encounter my sorrowful experiences. I probably will never see you, nor your brother, nor your sister again. But one thing that will not change is that you are my beloved daughter. You are the daughter of a man whom I loved from the bottom of my heart, Philip Christopher. I am sure you must resemble him greatly. You are blessed when you are born, and that you are still alive is a testament to that fact. I often wonder what the color of your eyes is, and how it would feel to run my hands through your hair. I can't help but to dream about the day I meet you, although deep down inside I know that day will never come. We might be far away in distance, but we are always together in my heart. Please take good care of yourself. Your mother, Sophia Delata. Okay, letter two. My dearest daughter Charlotte, five summers have already passed since you entered this world. I think I must have written over 20 letters now, despite my poor penmanship, how happy it makes me to know that my feelings are being conveyed to you. I wonder what I should tell you today. I think I will talk about your father. Your father, Philip Christopher, is the son of Count von Konsmark, Swedish Art Artillery Inspector General. Your father was a childhood friend of mine, and I am the daughter of a duke. Unfortunately, Philip and I had to part. Due to the inevitable circumstances of our country, an arrangement was made so that I was to marry and be queen to Count Hanover and spend my days filled with hardship. It was your father who came into my life again and saved me. Your father and I spent many long years loving each other. It's a fact that I fell in love with somebody, although I was already married. Some would call it a secretive affair, but our love was genuine and pure, especially when compared with the marriage arrangement to the Count of Hanover, which was stained with politics and power. Please forgive your foolish mother. Your mother, Sophia Delata. All right, now letter three. My dearest daughter, Charlotte, please allow me to celebrate your 12th birthday with you. May God's blessing and grace be with you. What would you like for your birthday? Would you like a raspberry cake? I should like to get you a beautiful dress along with a golden hair ornament and brooch. I want to braid happiness into each loop of your hair. Then you could dance in the court like a precious jewel. My dear Charlotte, are you well? I hope you haven't become sick. I only wish to make you happy, even if I have to sacrifice my own life. Is that a wish that cannot be granted? I would like very much to get to know you. Even if it's only a glance, I want to see how you've grown up. There isn't a day that goes by that I do not pray for your well-being. I try not to lament, but... I love you from the bottom of my heart. Your mother, Sophia Delata. Thank you very much, Hetty. That was beautiful. And um, anybody who's uh, seen, I think it was part nine, where uh, they told us the exact age of the little girl, the little ghost. Yeah, um, this is quite sad because she actually thought that she died without her mother caring or knowing anything about her. And uh, we kind of proved that wrong because these were just found in the chest that we were, had nearby. Anyway, thank you again for all of the <laughs> all of the uh, acting that you just did. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs>